hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i made this trending boo boo gown so i made the short version of it and with this beautiful neckline and this neck design as you can see this neckline is really beautiful and if you can wait to see the wrong side of it like it's the inner of it as you can see it is neatly sold so if you want to learn how to make this beautiful boo boo if you want to learn how to cut it and how to make this beautiful neckline you just have to stay tuned and let's get started welcome guys so we start by measuring the length of our gown as i said earlier and this is a short gown but if you are sewing a long gown it will be the same process you just measure the length of your long gown but for this i'm sewing a short gown so i'll just measure my short gown and i will add my same allowance that i will use to join it that i will use to hem it at the lower part rather so the same allowance that i will use to hem it you can add two inches you can add three inches depending on how wide you want the hemming to be at the lower part so that's just what i'm doing here so i'm measuring the length of the blouse over there so now this is the remaining part so i'll be drawing my shoulder line just here so this is my shoulder line so now i will measure my neckline i'll be measuring two and a half inches by one and a half both for the front and the back bodies so later on i'll be drafting the one for the front later so this is just two and a half by one and a half then i'll be drawing the curve just to draw the neckline over here so the next thing i'll be doing now is to draw, to draw my shoulder slope I measured one and a half for the shoulder slope yeah just one and a half over there for my shoulder slope so then i'll be measuring my curve so my curve measurement was 14 then i added i added three inches to it that is 14 plus three that's 17 so 17 divided by two was eight and a half so half inch for the joining at the shoulder and one inch for the joining at the side so all together everything is 10 you have to add excess to your shoulder slope so that it can be free then here yeah, i measured my shoulder then the remaining part over here is what will serve as my sleeve so depending on how long you want the sleeve to to be so that's what we determine what you will have over there so now i'm measuring my my back measurements that is the waist measurements my waist measurements rather than on my hip so i'll be measuring my waist at this point over here so my waist measurements divided by four then i will be adding additional three inches plus one inch similar ones that's four all together then i'll be slanting it just like this so at this hip area over here that i made the point there so i'll be measuring my hip and also my hip measurements divided by four then i'll be adding three inches extra allowance and one inch seam allowance so that's four all together what i added to the waist i'll be adding it here too so it's the same thing so now the same thing i measure at this hip area i will measure it towards the end of my gown that is the end of the short gown if you are measuring a long gown too you measure it towards the end of your long gown but what will just be there is that you will have to make a slit by the side of the gown so that the person wearing the gown can have is easy movement is either you do a slit as just one side or you can do the slit at both side so now for a short gown it doesn't need any slits so it's because it is kind of free enough yeah it is free enough but if it's a long gown it will need a slit so now i've measured that i've measured that so the next thing i'll be doing now is just to cut my pattern out to cut what i've measured out my fabric so now i'm going in over it again so i measured my shoulder length the shoulder divided by two then the remaining one was my sleeve yeah the remaining part was my sleeve and the slant the slope that's the slope over there that's the neckline two and a half by one and a half then this is the curve slash the round measurement is you you start measuring after this shoulder slope so that's it then i'll be cutting out my neckline and my shoulder out so this is what i have then i'll be using one to cut the front and the other one for the back so this is the front then i'll be cutting my neckline you know the neckline for the front is different from the back so i measured eight inches over here then i rule a line then i measured one and a half 
yes just one and a half there then i'll be connecting the one and a half point to the top of this two and a half neckline we've drawn before the one we've drawn before so i'll just be connecting it like that then i'll be cutting it out like that shape i'll be cutting it out like that exactly like the way i've drawn here I will open it up like this then I will be notching this point just be cutting making a cut like a slant cut of half inches half inches so that whenever I want to join I won't have difficulties at this sharp corner over there so I'll just be drawing I will just be cutting it uh, I'm sorry my hand is blocking it but I'll just be cutting it like that it will be half inches not more than half inches not more than half inches because if it's more than half inches it will affect the neck so i'm just cutting it out like that just half inches as you know that the style we are cutting one side is longer than the other so i'm extending the side one side like this and i'll be straightening it from the up downwards so what i have here is just one and quarter so i'll be cutting it out down one and quarter so I'll be cutting out, I'll be cutting away that one and quarter just the way I'm doing now. So now this is what it looks like. So like what I did for the other part before, I will do the same for this place too because it is also required just like half inches, no more than half inches so now this is what i have so i've went ahead to join my front bodies with the with the front the back and the front bodies together and i've also fold this this sleeve the the sleeve the, that end over there i've just went ahead to aim it too so now this is my neckline so i'll measure what i have at that straight part that part we straighten that we cut out some pieces so i'll just measure it and the other part which is the tiny part will be two and a half inches right that part will be two and a half plus the one and quarter we cut away from it that is the two and a half plus the one and quarter we cut away from it so that's what i'll be having then i'll slant it up to this eight inches point that we measure i don't know if you remember i measured this eight inches i measured one eight inches before earlier so the slant now I'll be measuring it up to that part then i'll be folding like that and i'll be adding paper stay i will explain again so i'll measure eight inches the eight inches we measured at that side then the remaining part is for the other side so now this is the other design of the neckline and it is 11 inches by 12 inches then i will fold also and also add my paper stay then i'll be folding it like this and also like that depending on the design i want to do so this is what i have for the neckline i went ahead to add my paper stay and also fold half inch inside because i added half inch that is two and a half plus half inch that's three that's what i cut earlier i'm sorry i cut out two and a half with this half inch is two and a half so after folding i will have just two inches over there that's what i have so because i use one and a half that's why i'm using two and a half we add extra one inches to it because if you are sewing use if you are sewing for your fabric and also for the for the doll face or whatever material you'll be adding to it so now i've went ahead to fix this neckline and i'm cutting out the excess i have so as you can see the what we cut out the other time that's it and it's like an half inch so this is the design i made i've folded it in then i've made a slant over here just like this i just did this random did just what i wanted just slant it like this and i'll be cutting out the excess i have there because if you don't cut it out when i need to be showing underneath and there is something bulky around that part and i don't want that so this is what i have so i'll be placing it like this to decide that is straight you know there is one part that is more than the other so that's where i'll be placing it like this and i'll be joining this this design with the neckline and the ankara underneath 
there will be one half inch akara underneath so you will join in the design the neckline with it together just like this and this is what it will look like while after you've turned after turning this is what it will look like then the remaining parts over there you will sew it down too you will sew it down just follow the line just sew it down on the fabric you sew it down that's why it is good to iron so that you can know the line you will follow so i'll just sew it down and i'll also sew the other parts to down so the remaining part over there i'll sew it down yes i will just sew it down like that then i will also sew on the head of all this part over here so that's just what i will go ahead and do now so this is what i have after sewing it down and after placing everything so this is what it looks like and it looks really beautiful and very neat if you see the other side of this the other side as you can see it is very neat there is no fabric showing or any other thing and the secret to the, this is the notching we did as that part that half inch notching without that half inch notching it would have folded or something would have happened to it but because of that folding it makes it really look nice it makes it look really nice so now the next thing i'll be doing is to sew the side and also hem the lower part so sew both sides and hem the lower part so after sewing our gown is ready and this is what it looks like so at this point i've not even ironed it yet but this is what it looks like and it looks really really nice it looks nice very nice it looks really nice please drop a lovely comment please like please comment share subscribe to my youtube channel yeah subscribe to my youtube channel if this video was helpful please let me know in the comment section and please engage on this video it is very important so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing for liking for commenting for sharing and i will see you guys in my next video bye